So something wrong happened. Uh, God could have stopped it being God and whatnot, but he didn't. There will be a resurrection someday, but today, before that resurrection, hope feels far off because we tend to root hope in the answer to our prayers, not in the God who answers them. So when it comes to Mary and Martha and Lazarus, who the church remembers today, hope would be a Lazarus who is not dead. The thing is, though, that leaves hope very far away when he is four days in the tomb and rotting. Mary actually calls him out on it. So hope is sort of like an alternate reality or a someday too far away out of reach. So Jesus answers. Because every time the followers of Jesus put their hope in something that he can control but not in him, it falls apart. Because hope is not found in God answering prayers. Hope is just found in God. So Jesus answers, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. You see, it's not a call to see what God can do. It's a call to see who he is. Even Martha sees what can be done. It almost makes the whole thing seem more frustrating. You could fix it. You just haven't yet. So Jesus reminds him, I am the resurrection. And where is Jesus in this whole scenario? He is he's at the tomb, mourning, weeping, and raising the dead. It's what he does. When everything is falling apart and you cannot find hope, stop looking for answered prayers and start looking for the promise of where God is. He is in the word preaching. He is in the sacraments, healing, forgiving, granting life. And there you have something a lot more firm to hold on to when hope feels far off.